Good morning, friends. It's Frankie Rose. I hope you're doing well today. There's been a little bit more of an update. There is a person of interest in the Ursula Gal murder. The police have investigated a single person of interest. So Miss Gal was 51. She was stabbed 58 times in the neck, torso, and arm, and then placed in the duffel bag and left in, on a corner of this park, about a mile away from her house. So surveillance cameras did cap capture the suspect pulling that duffel bag. And uh, this was about 4.30 in the morning. A lot of news outlets reported that the police have identified a man who was known to Mrs. Gull and had access to her family home. So the suspect is believed to have sent several text messages to her husband, Howard Klein, who was away from home with his eldest son. I think they were out of state. Her younger son was 13, is 13, and was on the top floor. They have a three-story home, and he did not have an idea that anything was going on. So the medical examiner, as we know, did classify her death as sharp force injuries to the neck. So the neighbors did tell news outlets of the, about the death of uh, Ms. Gull. They say that it's a quiet place. They were good neighbors, sometimes got together. And found her to be a very pleasant individual. Everybody is on edge because that killer is still running around. So she was found, as we know, in the basement of her home. It's, it's a nice home. It's worth about $2 million. It is in Forest Hills, which is like an upscale area. So it says here that the duffel bag was wheeled 800 meters and then left on that trail in the park. Police are not giving out the name of this individual at this point. As soon as they do that, I will let you know. It'll be good to find out a little bit more information, get this guy in jail. He did send her husband, if you remember me saying yesterday, that the message said your whole family is next i will be back and it said your wife sent me to jail some years ago i'm back very scary situation so we do know that he was caught on camera pulling that duffel bag on the sidewalk there's that picture at this point i don't think there's much more of an update other than it was you know her husband Howard Klein that called 911 to say his wife had not come home had disappeared and then he came home with his son following that now she has gone missing one other time and he called the police but she ended up showing up a few hours later I am not seeing too much more that is new he did hit that, what is it called, uh, the artery in her neck and her trachea is basically the wounds that got her gone. So may she rest in peace and I hope they find this man, that's not the word I was going to use, <laughs> I hope they find this man soon and get him off the street. He doesn't have any right to be running around. So for now, that's all I have. And if there's any more of an update, I'll get a hold of you guys, send you out another video. I do appreciate you. Can you hit that like, subscribe, share with your friends. I do appreciate you and I'll talk to you in the next one. Cheers, friends.